Why'd you do it, Jesse? Why did you do it? Ah, I hope it was worth it, man. I tell you what, you know how you know America's great? America's great because you can be a millionaire on TV, in Hollywood, have all the fame and fortune, and flush it down the toilet for a petty political agenda. Jesse Smollett, in epic fashion, put on probably the worst con job this world has ever seen. Everything from the exaggeration and all the props like new bleach, Subway sandwich, you know, in Polar Vortex Chicago, MAGA country, to let me pay off some Nigerians with a check so they can trace it back to me, to let me go on Good Morning America and double down on my story because they won't use it as evidence later against me. Ah, oh, man. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. But I'm happy that Jussie is behind bars and he can't divide this country anymore. And people have woken up on both sides of the aisle. More people are being red pilled by these stories. I know it doesn't seem like it when you have all these marchers and protesters going off every day. But people are waking up slowly but surely. They're seeing how much they're trying to divide this country. And you know what? The more that they try to divide it, the more that I know the country's not divided. America is not as racist, sexist, xenophobic, homophobic as they want it to be. And I'm A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, we still got problems to work out. We're not perfect. I mean, we all know somebody could come and assault me right now because of this hat I'm wearing. And that's fine. We'll get through it. But America is not what they want it to be. The left wants to destroy this country, and they're unable to. This story, along with the Covington Catholic kids, along with the Brett Kavanaugh story, those stories reeked of desperation, right? And we're not done. There's still more work to do. We got to get Trump reelected in 2020. We got more people to call out, right? Let's talk about Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, two people who are running for president who couldn't wait to pile on this story, right? They both had tweets talking about this is a modern day lynching. We need to pass this anti-lynching bill. And then when it comes out, the story's fake. They approach Kamala Harris and she's like, uh, I think I'll wait for the facts to come out before I say anything further. Uh, excuse me, Kamala. Where was this critical thinking when you rushed to judgment to go virtue signal on Twitter? Huh? The correct response would be, I apologize. I jumped the gun because I have a political agenda and uh, I apologize for it. I was in the wrong. Jesse Smollett, he lied. He undermined the integrity of the black community and the LGBT community. And it's a shame what happened. Nope, she didn't do that. She won't be president. Not that she was going to be anyway. Same thing with Cory Booker, you know. And another thing, where are the formal denouncements of Jesse Smollett, you know? Now it's proven, it's proven. So Fox, where are you at? Empire, where are you at? The cast of Empire, where are you guys at? Why are you guys not publicly denouncing Jesse Smollett? Why aren't you severing ties, distancing yourself? Oh, I get it because liberal privilege and the double standard. Roseanne got fired from her own show that was named after her because of words she put on the internet, because of a tweet. Roseanne gets fired. She gets publicly denounced. Within 30 minutes of that tweet, she was fired. All of her colleagues denounced her formally on Twitter. But nothing for Jesse. What are they doing instead? Slow walking it. Like, oh, we're just not going to record him in future episodes. We're going to take a few scenes out. And, you know, we'll do some edits and some snippets there. But, yeah, it's because they want to fade to black on this. But I'm not letting them. I'm calling them out. Where are you at, Terrence Howard? You're going to call out your boy? You're going to say something about it publicly, about him trying to divide our country? How about that? And while we're on the topic, MAGA means unity, right? Make America great again is for all Americans, but you don't have that on the left because they want everybody divided up by gender and race and sexual orientation and all this other stuff. But then they want to smear the right and talking about Trump is dividing the country. Trump is doing this. Trump is doing that. Well, how many more examples do they need, right, that they're the ones dividing the country? They're the ones doing Satan's work. They're the ones lying. Satan loves liars, and that's what they're doing. They're lying every single day new story new hit job they're always pivoting you notice a couple weeks ago what were we talking about that was super important 
You forgot? Let me remind you. We were talking about infanticide. And what did they do? They pivoted. They ran interference and distracted us with blackface. Now with this Justin Smollett thing, what are they doing? They're already starting to pivot. Like, oh, what about that ISIS fighter woman that wants to come back with her little innocent baby? And what about the, uh, what about the, uh, the Coast Guard guy that was, that was gearing up to, to, to assassinate some high-ranking officials in Congress? He was a MAGA guy. See, they're focused on their political agenda. They don't care about the truth. But Mike Nivison cares about the truth, and that's why I'm reporting on these stories. We're not letting them sweep this under the rug, so I'll be wearing my MAGA hat every single day as much as I can until we get the point across to them that MAGA is unity. MAGA is love. MAGA is love. On the left, the anti-Trump, the resist hate, the anti-Trump shit, that is all about division and animosity. Jesse Smollett, Trump derangement syndrome. You threw away your entire career. You were a millionaire. You were on television. And you threw it away over a lie. You threw it away over a lie because of your hatred and your animosity towards one very bad orange man that's president. Come on, man. Come on, man. And the media, they're no work, they're no better. They keep trying to divide us, man. So, in conclusion, Jesse Smollett, you done messed up, man. You done messed up. You try to divide the country and you're failing. The left is failing. And I hope it was worth it.